Hello and welcome to uh, the 19th PHP tutorial. In the last tutorial we left off with um, these, this idea of HTML entities and how you can protect yourself against um, some malicious attacks. So with that, the next thing um, that I just want to bring up uh, before we continue on with the fun and beauty of PHP and making websites is one more um, security risk. So initially, um, you know, what we've done is we've already converted HTML entities, but uh, that won't always uh, protect you. For a while, everyone thought, well, okay, if you use HTML entities, like that's all you gotta do to protect yourself. But really what you have to, you have to be really stringent. You know, the only way that you can really protect yourself against um, most attacks, I mean, there's probably no way to ever be a perfectly secure uh, website. But the best way that you can do this is, at least when you have like forms like this, where people can input data, is you first, you know, kind of do everything it takes to kind of um, run through that data before you go to display that data in any way. Um, so, and as you run through it, you know, the first thing you'll want to do definitely is for HTML entities. Um, but there is one more thing that you want to do, and so if you ever, if you have um, a header file like we do, you'll want to pop over to your header file and come down here and you'll want to specify some header information and so what we're going to say is we're going to just say uh, content you know type and that is going to be uh, text html and then you'd want to specify uh, car set as um, utf8 right um, to give you an example uh, it's been, um, I forget how long ago it was, maybe a couple years or a year or something, but without uh, UTF-8, if you had UTF-7, you could still pass through JavaScript, right? Even though it was, um, you know, not reading HTML, you could still put through JavaScript. So it's just best to make sure you do everything you can to specify, you know, um, specific uh, things within um, any form where you've got people submitting anything, right? It's just a good idea. Same thing like with your SQL database. Like there's, if you don't uh, set that up right, someone can just enter a drop command into your database and just drop your database. So, so you just, you have to understand how these things work and make sure that you've kind of got at least some protection against um, malicious activity. And if you don't know how to specify like specific header information, um, it's a it's more of a PHP thing. So you'd want to do um, this, and we're going to choose UTF eight. And then we'll just throw in welcome to this. But we could also just uh, since we're at this point, why don't we just go ahead and echo now that so now we're back to a decent website so uh, the next thing that we want to do is uh, return back to the string manipulation ideas that we were uh, going to start talking about so uh, with that, let's hop into it. So let's say you know this is example text submit. Okay. So right now they're the exact same thing. But what can we do to manipulate text? Well, let's pop over here, and uh, we're done with our header file for now. So I'll just close that out. And within here, um, the change text. This is where we're going to start changing things. So the easiest thing we can do is um, uppercase and lowercase. Uh, to do this, you've got str to lower or str to upper. So we can e echo str to uh, upper, it's the most fun one, and encase that like so. We'll save that, upload that, and pop over here. And what we'll do is uh, example text, submit, and you see this is the original text, change text, 
is example text. <laughs> okay, so you can see that we've we've uh, changed that. So the next thing that we'd want to do is pop back over here, and we can do string to lower. Okay, so we'll save that, put that up on the server, pop over here, and now we can do. Um, let's just open up another tab, and this is my tutorial and we'll capitalize tutorial and we'll submit that and you can see it just completely lowercase everything this makes uh, string parsing and dealing like processing strings a lot easier when you convert it to the same um, case the other thing you can do is um, <clears throat> look for things uh, within text so um, to do that let's specify a variable and just to remind you, um, I guess we'll just do it right in here, uh, I guess. So we'll say, uh, we'll call this variable look for. And we want to look for um, cat. And uh, when you use this command, you want to encase what you want to look for with these um, forward slashes. So we want to look for cat. And the way that we do that is, um, let's make an if statement so it'll be uh, if and then parameters curly braces and um, the command for looking for this is going to be preg underscore match and in this we are looking for you first have what you're looking for so in this case we're looking for look for and then the next one is where are we going to look for this? And in this case, we're going to look for this within uh, text. So we close that off. And then if we do find it, we want to echo found full stop look for full stop space in text, close it, and um, semicolon so we'll save that and send that in hopefully we did this for oh, no we didn't put a semicolon there and I think we're good otherwise so we'll save that send it forward and again hello this is a test submit nothing it just lowercased it hello this is a test for let's do cats submit and it says um, found cat in text because it can't found cat within uh, the word cats so what if you just wanted to find cat so what if we do like cat space and actually let's do cat space that because like what if what if we just want to look for let's do it this way first and um, send that back in if we do um, Hello, this is a tutorial for cats. Submit. It, it didn't say it found anything, but what if we do? Hello, this is a tutorial for a bobcat. In fact, you won't even find that. This is a bobcat tutorial. Submit. So now it'll find anything that ends in cat, but then of course if you just wanted to find solely cat, you would, you would do that. So that's how you do uh, preg match, and then also how to do a couple other commands to strings. So as always, thank you for watching, and stay tuned to the next video.